Let's see, my first time probably was with my husband. My first time was when I was 18 years old. I don't know that I kiss and tell. My first time, I was a late bloomer. I was probably 20. Um, it was about 18 years ago at a campground in northern Wisconsin. At my husband's military base. I think we were out on the patio. The experience was great. A lot of fun. It was a, a little naughty, a little um, not what a lady should be doing, and, and a little risque, and I, I liked that part of it. Oh, I loved it. Just loved it. It was so much fun. It was just absolutely unbelievable. Boy, I'm not sure if I would be able to describe it. It was something that I had never uh, experienced before. It was exciting. And it was pretty, pretty good. Loved it. Relaxed. I was going to say the oh. exact same thing. Yeah, <laughs> very relaxed. relaxing. Yeah. Very relaxing. And I wanted to do it again. Well, I've been smoking cigars now for about 12 years. I'm Reverend Marie Gray, and I also own my uh, own humidor, uh, a huge lighter, and I got a great fine cutter, and I bought a beautiful ashtray, and, and uh, it adds to the experience of a great cigar. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty easy to find out what happened. I come back in and the humidor is open and it's been open for days. And I'm going, you've got to be kidding me. And I go over there to find my, my lone Opus X to see if it's still there. And I look in there and it's half smoked and put back in the humidor. But so anyways, so we're flash forwarding about a dozen years later and um, I have my own humidor as directed and I buy my own cigars and I can smoke them as I please. I like to consider myself a wellness and fitness freak. I'm a triathlete. I don't drink alcohol. I eat a lot of organic foods. And I smoke cigars. My family really doesn't know that I smoke cigars. Uh, I don't tell a lot of people I smoke cigars. But I really enjoy smoking cigars and they think that Jim smokes a lot of cigars because often there's two in the ashtray and if somebody in the family would walk in, they think that they're both Jims because, you know, I'm really not there smoking cigars in front of them, but I really enjoy smoking cigars. So poor Jim. It doubles your pleasure. <laughs> but we do enjoy smoking together and I just don't really tell everyone that I smoke cigars. This is not an illusion. Women do smoke cigars, a lot of cigars, and that's fabulous. Almost 300 years ago, women started smoking cigars. Men may have frowned, but women continued to smoke. We smoked behind closed doors, below the staircase, in the broom closet, in the alleys, behind the barn. It was our secret. Today, women still have many secrets, but we are no longer secretive about smoking cigars. Women are an untapped market segment when it comes to cigar smoking. The fact is, lots of women buy and smoke cigars, but more importantly, women control the household cigar budget. How can that be, you might ask? Research indicates that women control at least 85% of the household budget. Whoever controls the money controls the spending. Why do you think traditionally male-dominated industries have over the years increasingly focused on marketing to women? They know where the money is. Today, women account for seven trillion in consumer and business spending. That's six trillion more than men. Women are experienced shoppers. We tend to be more loyal than men, and we are more brand aware than men. Women tend to be repeat customers more often than men. Anyone who hasn't noticed the dramatic increase in women smoking cigars just isn't paying attention. 
Women from all social backgrounds are enjoying cigars for most of the same reasons men do. They've watched men enjoy cigars over the years, and they've realized that they want that same enjoyment. Women like the camaraderie, the taste, the ritual, and the handling of the cigar. Today, women's cigar clubs are springing up all over the country. The International Women's Cigar Society. Making a difference one puff at a time.